Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me here today so that we could discuss Attack of the 50-Foot Cam Girl. So this is a super cheap full moon movie. It's about Beverly, a social media star. She's always trending, always going viral. But of course, the flip side of that is you have to continue to keep making content, keep staying on top of what's popular, keep, you know, staying trending. She's also got like rivals that are trying to knock her out of the way to take over the spotlight. She's trying to branch out into entrepreneurship and she's got like her boyfriends kind of helping guide her in that. And her latest uh, kind of branding concept is one that's going to end world hunger, make her not only an, a famous influencer, an internet star, but also a, her a historical heroic figure because they've managed to invent self-replicating hot dogs that are going to end world hunger. Only things don't go as planned with the hot dogs, and that's where we end up with the plot of this. So again, this is super, super cheap full moon. Uh, I had a good time with it. It's super short. It's very brisk, so it's really not, you know, it does it's very, very low maintenance entertainment. You just, you know, pop it in, kind of turn your brain off and enjoy it, and that's it. On the plus side, I like cheesy, corny comedy of the full moon style from this era of, of, uh, of the company. Bad jokes, puns, cheesy one-liners, terrible banter. I thought it was really entertaining, but if you don't like kind of so bad that it's good cornball stuff, you might not appreciate that as much as me. The performances are really hokey, but again, I, I thought that added to the entertainment value. On the downside, there's very little sleaze here. For a movie called Attack of the 50-Foot Cam Girl, you would expect there to be a lot more nudity or sleaze, and there's really not. There's a few topless scenes, and that's about it. Um, also on the downside is that I wanted, since it is, again, 50-foot cam girl, I wanted a lot of that, like, kaiju-style battles. And there's some here, but not a lot. But I did really appreciate it when it was there. And they do have, like, the two giant girls scoring off, which is fun. But there just wasn't as much of it here as I would have liked, or as much, like, giant woman destroying stuff as I wanted. But it was still a super brisk watch, and I had a good time with it. If you like just cheesy, you know pop it in and you'll forget it the next day, then <laughs> check out Attack of the 50-Foot Camera. I thought it was quite entertaining. Anyway, that's my review. If you like it, please check out my website, markfusion.com, or right here on YouTube in my movie review playlist, and check out hundreds and hundreds of other movie reviews. But thank you so much for watching this one. I do greatly appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you soon.